batteries are the single most valuable component of electric vehicles. They account for anywhere from a third to nearly half of an EV's total cost, pushing prices higher than traditional combustion engine cars. If we could double the energy density of batteries and cut the cost in half again, we've brought the cost down about 80% in the last uh, eight years. So that's already incredible. If we could cut it to 90% reduction, I think then we're going to see that these vehicles are really competitive and, uh, uh, you know, there's no more major issues if we can get to the sort of three to 400 mile range. Lithium is the essential mineral used to make EV batteries and the US, like much of the world, remains heavily dependent on Chinese processing and refining. The entire battery industry is uh, highly dependent on mineral processed in uh, China. Um, uh, uh, for years, the Chinese were investing a lot of money in, in the supply chain of batteries, while the rest of the world were not. Uh, and only recent two or three years, uh, other companies are investing. Recent assessments by the U.S. Department of Energy show California's Salton Sea contains an estimated 18 million tons of lithium, one of the largest deposits ever identified. That's enough to potentially make the U.S. self-sufficient. The main question is who and when you make this big, big, big investment in order to be able to start mining it, refining it, and manufacturing and, and, and making it battery ready. Uh, there are lithium everywhere you, you start digging, you find lithium. That's the easiest one to, to find. Uh, but every new source like that costs billions of dollars to develop. The Chinese already made huge investments, so we really need policy support. Uh, we buy a lot of lithium from places like uh, Australia when it's pretty expensive. That's why California's lithium reserves, sometimes called white gold, could be a game changer. But shifting federal policy away from renewable energy has slowed investor confidence, stalling what some call a modern gold rush and leaving the U.S. battery and EV industries trailing far behind China. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.